the relationship as well that you had with Mancini, with yes. Mancini, was the, the two of you were sort of prolific. There you are, um, looking so young. Yeah, with Rob, Roberto, we, you know, we liked each other uh, um, as human beings. Uh, we were different, but we were sort of, uh, we were getting on extremely well, which helps a lot, I think. And then on the pitch, we were, we were very complimentary. Um, it could be the centre forward, I could drop back. Any things were not going particularly well, we could do the opposite. I could play as a centre forward and it could be just, you know, playing mm -hmm. off me. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you've got two strikers who, are, who don't care whether the other striker is scoring three goals and you're not mm -hmm. scoring any, mm -hmm. it's fantastic because, you know, the, the, the only thing that we, we, we wanted was for the team to win. Did you work at that relationship? In, in training. Uh, on the training ground? Uh, no, it just came quite naturally. And, um, you know, when you've got this affinity and mm -hmm. uh, things just um, happen and, uh, and you just get on. And there's mm -hmm. no jealousy, there's no, there are no major problems. Mm. I've got to ask you about one of my favourite players, Roberto Baggio. What, yes. What, how good was he? Uh, it was very good. I mean, I've been, I've been extremely lucky because as a centre forward, I played with Mancini, I played with Del Piero, I played with Roberto Baggio, I played with Gianfranco Zola. So yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was doing a lot for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> running for them, <laughs> but in return they were, you know, passing me fantastic balls and for me it was easier to score playing with them. Mm. Um, so it was, um, it was great. <laughs> but Roberto Baggio was excellent. Do you um, think, do you excellent. think, I mean, you said that you, you and uh, Roberto Mancini didn't have to work on it. Do you think it's something that, that a strike pairing can work on, on in the training ground? Because we've had Dwight York and Andy Cole and they always said that they never worked on their relationship, it just happened naturally. And, is it something that you can attain in training? You can work on your understanding on the, on the training ground. If I move like that, you pass me the ball, you know, that way or vice versa. And, you know, the, the more you train, the more you practice together, the more you build this, un, you know, this understanding, which is uh, necessary if you want to be successful. But off the pitch, um, it helps if you're, if you're friends, mm. if you see things the same way, if you've got the same philosophy in life. And, uh, and with Roberto and myself, it just happened. We were good friends mm -hmm. and we liked it, each other. Are you still good friends now? Yes, yes. We speak to each other. I tell him, you know, what team to pick every now and then when he's in trouble. And right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, not really, but did, did he's now in Turkey. Yeah, but they did I don't a great know job, didn't they? Being yeah. Juventus, of yeah. course, in the Champions League. He must have been delighted with that. <laughs> Myself. Well, he must have been. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he, obviously, yeah, he was, he was over the moon and uh, um, extremely happy, of course. I, I wasn't that happy uh, because... You meant <laughs> you know, you what, about the, what about the prospect well, yeah. of them facing Chelsea in the next round then? Well, I, I, I look forward to seeing uh, Roberto and Mourinho because it's just a clash of uh, personalities and uh, two great managers. And Roberto was at AC, Inter Milan and then Mourinho took over. So now they've got a chance to meet themselves, meet each other in the Champions League. I look forward to that. I think they're, all, um, they're both uh, tactically very astute and um, it will be an interesting game. Very interesting game.